He first founded the company Kyocera at the age of 27, which quickly became one of the Fortune Global 500 companies. At the age of 52, he founded his second company, KDDI, which also successfully entered the Fortune Global 500 list. When he was 78 years old, he was personally invited by the Prime Minister of Japan to help rescue the struggling Japan Airlines, JAL, from bankruptcy, even though he had no prior experience in the aerospace industry. In just over 400 days, he managed to turn JAL from losses to profits, bringing it back into the Fortune Global 500 list. Under his leadership, JAL also achieved three world firsts, first in profits, first in punctuality, and first in service quality. Yes, he is the renowned Kazuo Inamori, often referred to as the management saint known worldwide. Today, we are talking about Kazuo Inamori. He was born into an ordinary family, graduated from a third-tier university, and initially struggled to find a job. He even worked at a company that went bankrupt before he received his salary. He experienced poverty firsthand before becoming extremely wealthy. Based on his own life experiences, he concluded that there are six generosities in poor people. However, many people are unaware of this. Little do they know that this generosity is a typical way of thinking for poor people. It has misled countless individuals, keeping them busy throughout their lives without achieving social mobility. This phrase from Kazuo Inamori reminds me of a very excellent documentary by BBC, 7UP. After watching it, I was completely amazed. The director wanted to prove that the children of the rich would likely remain rich, and the children of the poor would mostly stay poor. They chose 14 children from different social classes to follow. Every seven years, they recorded their lives, starting when they were seven years old, then at 14, 21, and so on, until they were 56 in 2012. This less than 150-minute film essentially proved the director's intention. The social divide is challenging to cross. These children from poorer backgrounds include many who are very intelligent, work hard, and have numerous opportunities, but they still don't live well. Ultimately, it's because no one helped them plan their lives correctly or make the right choices at the crossroads of life. In a demanding and competitive society, we are like a group of people who can never stop running, never seeing the end. If you have no direction at all, you're essentially falling behind compared to others who are striving. In the end, you'll achieve nothing. So, you shouldn't easily give in to the cruelty of life. If you want to move forward, you need a higher but still realistic goal as a source of motivation. Then, go all out to achieve it. The most important thing is the process of taking action toward it, determining your direction, having a strong will, and persevering without giving up. In the eyes of the poor, time is the least valuable. Many poor individuals lack proper time management and fail to understand the value of time. Consequently, they let time slip away, thinking they are enjoying life when, in reality, they are wasting time and energy. Poor people often waste a lot of time pursuing small advantages or earning meager incomes, yet they remain content. You frequently see news online about a new milk tea shop opening, with a long line of young people waiting for hours just to get it by one, get one free deal on milk tea. These young people spend an entire day for a savings of a few dollars, which is truly a case of pennywise, pound foolish. Unfortunately, they continue to queue up eagerly for such opportunities. How can these people ever become wealthy? Poor individuals are generous with their time, wasting it on low value or even meaningless activities, while rich individuals adhere to the philosophy that time is money they are willing to spend money to buy time. These two ways of thinking determine that one side will always be poor, while the other becomes increasingly wealthy. Time is money is not an empty phrase. Many billionaires are more frugal with their time than they are with their money, fearing that valuable time will slip away. This is the difference between the poor and the rich. Kazuo Inamori, 
with many years of entrepreneurial experience, has remained energetic and worked over 10 hours a day. His time management is something we can learn from. He says, with the diligence of today, you can complete tomorrow's tasks and see tomorrow clearly. If you can't even see tomorrow, how can you see the future? Have you noticed a phenomenon where the wealthier people are, the more they carefully manage their finances, while poorer individuals tend to spend lavishly, lacking long-term financial planning and investment? Many don't understand why poor people, who don't have much money to begin with, can be so generous with their spending. It all comes down to preserving one's image. Some individuals, despite less than ideal financial conditions, are extravagant consumers. Young people, influenced by the idea of deluxe poverty, may earn a monthly salary of three to four thousand but live a lavish lifestyle costing ten thousand or more. They chase an extravagant life that is beyond their means, even if it means maxing out credit cards and taking loans to purchase designer bags and cosmetics to satisfy their vanity. They hold on to the belief that they should live luxuriously even if they are poor. These young people often find their wallets empty. Many who buy expensive iPhones are earning less than 5000 a month, while those with higher incomes prefer more affordable phones like Xiaomi or Honor. Paradoxically, those with less money tend to seek small savings, and when they see promotions and discounts, they lose rational spending behavior, thinking they've struck a big deal when, in reality, they've fallen into a merchant's trap. The pursuit of pseudo-elegance among young people often leads to empty wallets and piles of debt. Continuously falling into debt makes it increasingly difficult to escape, let alone become wealthy. Kazuo Inamori has lived a frugal life, a habit he developed in his early years and continued to uphold. This habit of saving every penny provided him with the capital to start his entrepreneurial journey. The less wealthy a person is, the more talkative they tend to be, often engaging in idle gossip and discussions about complex and distant topics. On the other hand, wealthier individuals focus on practical matters, such as daily business dealings. Poor individuals often talk about topics that are beyond their control, things that don't directly affect them. In essence, these discussions have little relevance to their own lives. Regardless of how profound their thoughts or how vast their perspectives, such discussions are essentially fruitless. To put it humorously, someone who can't even afford a meal shouldn't be concerning themselves with the household affairs of billionaires. People who can't spare a few hundred dollars often engage in discussions about making a million as if it's a trivial matter. In contrast, truly wealthy individuals, like Kazuo Inamori, tend to discuss matters related to their business and focus on practical issues. They care about how much inventory they've acquired today, how much they've sold, and which orders are still pending. Their conversations revolve around the day-to-day -day aspects of their work. People with limited vision often gaze at the sky, while truly successful individuals keep their heads down and focus on their immediate surroundings, taking each step steadily. Luck usually favors those who are dedicated and diligent. If you can't concentrate and do your own work diligently, you won't escape the cycle of poverty. It's easy to become discouraged when facing difficulties and to frequently console oneself. The poorer someone is, the more likely they are to be generous in giving up. They may have a short attention span or give up if they don't see immediate results. For example, they might join a 30-day reading challenge but quit after less than a week, citing various excuses. Or they might plan to exercise every morning but stop after a few rainy days. Pursuing a girl for a month without getting a response, they quickly move on to someone else. It's important to realize that success doesn't come easily for anyone. Those who give up at the first sign of difficulty can't be expected to accomplish anything. When Kazuo Inamori was young and started Kyasura, he faced numerous challenges due to his lack of experience. Many people advised him to give up, but he persisted, firmly believing that he could succeed. It's this determination that led to his remarkable achievements later on. 
Kazuo Inamori emphasizes the need for a strong desire and a spirit of hard work similar to that of the wilderness if you want to achieve great success. You should motivate yourself with the thought that you must succeed no matter what, otherwise, your desire to challenge will remain a meaningless empty phrase. There's nothing in this world that can be accomplished overnight. It takes continuous effort and self-improvement. Progressing a little every day can be a qualitative leap in your life. To achieve a better version of yourself, you must learn to constantly challenge yourself. Staying in your comfort zone will only lead to complacency. Your comfort zone is equivalent to your ability zone and can expand gradually. Only when we keep learning and improving can we gradually expand our comfort zone. Just strive to make a little progress each day. Don't underestimate the progress and growth you make every day. Incremental changes will eventually lead to significant transformation. Don't use busyness as an excuse. Even the world's richest person, Bill Gates, is very busy but still dedicates an hour each day to reading. So, don't claim to be too poor or too busy. Make sure to invest in yourself. Kazuo Inamori, despite not having an illustrious family background, founded three Fortune Global 500 companies and became a role model for countless young people. At the age of 90, he no longer concerns himself with worldly matters. However, his business philosophy and wisdom continue to influence numerous people. Many have visited him for advice, including Jack Ma and Ren Zhengfei. Jack Ma visited him three times to seek advice on business management, while Ren Zhengfei learned from Kazuo Inamori the importance of independent research and development, which helped his company, Huawei, become a world-leading high-tech enterprise. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.